We have just voted that today we are building around Guzzlord. So the first thing you want to do when you're building around Guzzlord is remove the Guzzlord from your team builder. This will allow you to add something good like Zacian. Now unfortunately, we're all out of Zacians for this stream, so we're going to have to make do and have a suitable replacement. Usually when you're running out of Zacians in your kitchen, you're going to want to run to the store and pick one up. But let's say, uh, for example, that you have a car that has a flat tire. Well, in this case, you can just reach into your pantry and get another Guzzlord. There are a lot of these guys just sitting around. Anyways, <laughs> so chat has challenged me to build with a Guzzlord. We're going to be running this Guzzlord set, 4 HP, 140 attack, brave nature, uh, 244 defense, 4 special attack, 116 special defense, AV, snarl, knockoff, heavy slam, high horsepower. Heavy slam is a 2 hit KO on Xerneas, if it's running the same set that I am, which a lot of them are. Uh, snarl is just a great move. Uh, knockoff is obviously an absurdly strong move coming off of any dark type, great for removing items on Incineroar and Amoongus. Uh, we have high horsepower as well, just for dealing damage to stack attack and Incineroar. Standard Xerneas, safety goggles, stack attack, a wide guard set with uh, attack boosting. We have Focus Sash, standard Urshifu, Hashaberry and Incineroar because two of our best items are being taken up by other Pokemon. <laughs> and we have a uh, Citrus Berry Amoongus, Grass Knot, Rage Powder, Spore, Clear Smog, Zero Speed IVs. Let's do it. Let's hit the ladder. No, you actually don't need a plus special defense nature to live the Dazzling Gleam if we actually look at it. Xerneas, standard VGC, and just like that, you live the Dazzling Gleam. No special defense nature needed. And you two-shot with Heavy Slam in. Wow, okay. Count their answers to Guzzlord. One. This feels pretty interesting. Um. Hmm. I'm not used to playing Xerneas, if I'm gonna be completely honest, I'm not used to playing Xerneas. Uh, I have to think about this for a moment. I can pretty safely lead off Incineroar. But I have to be really careful with my fake outs. I think I'll go Incineroar on lead and stack attack, and that feels safe because I can wide guard parting shot if really if I really need to. Since a lot of Groudon typically in that situation would want to just go for the attack. In Psych Attack, it doesn't seem bad versus anything else, really. Xerneas in the back, and I think I'll go Guzzlord. I'll bring Guzzlord for the culture. For the culture. Yeah, so this is just a wide guard. Parting Shot, Groudon, wide guard. Uh, they shouldn't be able to KO me. Yeah, if they single target, if they go for a single target move, they'd have to be in the Zarina. Or, sorry, in the Stack Attacka. All right, there's the P-Blades, get a parting shot off, and I am ready to set up. <laughs> I am absolutely ready to set up. Let me go ahead and Geomancy and send back in the Incineroar. I'm ready to set up. Did I have 31 IVs in Amoongus speed? Let me fix that if that, if that is true. No, I did not. That's just a speed at zero. Air Balloon stack next. Okay, you guys want to see something cool? You guys want to see something cool? We're in the sun. We are in the sun, and that Zarina did not KO me. I did not mean to do that. I think this might do it. He's at minus one. This might do it in the sun. I could also parting shot. Oh, this, this might KO. This might straight up KO. Come on. Come on, Incineroar. Yeah! Okay, I'm feeling good. Here's the Zarina. Uh, let me just go ahead and protect. Zarina's kind of annoying. I'm gonna keep it real with you. Zarina's kind of annoying. I can just Dazzling Gleam here and I should be fine. And I'll actually go hard into Guzzlord. I don't mind getting high jump kicked. Yep, 
Yeah, because they should like Electroweb. If they don't Electroweb, I think that's not very good for them. There's a Sash. Lorraine, of course, is AV. Pretty standard. They're going to get me down to neutral, but I still outspeed everything. But, like, seriously, it doesn't matter. Okay. You guys want to see a magic trick? Ooh, you're intimidated. Ooh. <laughs> They just decide to go for the damage, which I don't think is their play. Yeah, because then I just KO Groudon. Cool. Uh, get back in the Guzzlord. And I can win just by doing this. Do I live a P Blades? How much do I take from P Blades? I live I live a P Blades. Check this out. Final KO goes to the legend Guzzlord. He missed me, obviously. Bam, right there. Get the KO. Nice. Nice. Okay. Alright, interesting. Uh we have a Palkia Trick Room team. Didn't this like win a tournament? Hmm. Uh, I really, really think they're going to lead off Tapu Koko. Electro Volt Switch stuff just seems really nice for my Urshifu lead. I don't think Tapu Koko carries Dazzling Gleam in this format. It might. It might, actually. They traded Zapdos for Koko. Yeah. Uh, let's lead off Guzzlord and Incineroar. So I'm going to bring Xerneas in the back, and I think my last Mon is actually going to be Urshifu. Because what I can do is, if there's an Amoongus on lead, I can just knock off Flare Blitz, and that should do it. If they lead off Incineroar versus that, I'll just go ahead and fake out the Amoongus then. And I can just Snarl spam a lot of other things. There it is. Uh, I like this lead. I do like this lead quite a bit. I'd like to get rid of Amoongus early. I would assume here... I would assume here they... would just Rage Powder. Cause they probably don't know I have awesome epic move, you know? I don't see a reason to fake out when I can just secure a KO. Okay, that would that would technically keep me from getting the KO. So maybe I should have Flare Blitzed. <laughs> or maybe I should have faked out. As they spore that, uh, not the end of the world, not the end of the world. Because Guzzlord still provides a decent amount of pressure here. I can just keep clicking knockoff into the Amoongus and whatever comes in won't like it. Obviously I don't want to go into anything else. I'm willing to let my Incineroar take this, so I'll Flare Blitz. Awesome. The U-turn probably just going to get back in the Amoongus. Yep. And I'm going to try to wake up and Snarl. Um, how much do I care if my Incineroar goes down here? I don't think I care much. They have to land a Hydro Pump. Let's just go for it. They have to land the Hydro Pump. I'm willing to just go for it. <laughs> awesome. I'm cool with that because Pasho Berry. I forgot we had Pasho Berry. Wake up. Grab brush, put a little makeup. Snarl the Palkia. <laughs> He blindly slept the, uh, the Guzzlord because he was scared. This is true. Guzzlord tends to have that effect on people. Fish fear him. Women fear him. No beast dare make a sound in his presence. He is alone on this barren earth. His name is Guzzlord. Alright, Snarl. And I'm actually just going to straight up go into Urshifu. Because they should Hydro Pump here. And I want that Intimidate. It could also knock off, technically. Fringe. There's the TR. And that looks like a close combat if I've ever seen one. I'll actually save the Guzzlord here because I don't mind it in TR. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's that nice snarl. That's that nice snarl. Crit de definitely did not matter. Crit definitely did not matter. And uh, I don't know how fast his Incineroar is. I'm still going to fake out this thing. And get back in my Guzzlord. Because a snarl looks really clean here. Snarl looking really clean. Saucy. Double snarl. Double the fun. Ooh, nice protect, bud. Nice protect. Um, what are you gonna do about this though? Like, like honestly, like what are you gonna do about this? Once the trick room's up, like what do you do? I can go ahead and protect in parting shot, and I feel pretty good about that. Cause then I just get Nurshifu. Or maybe just stay in and snarl. Because I should lose the Incinera regardless, and then I can just lock myself in the Moonblast. As they blindly go for a bad play, in my opinion. Uh, I can just go ahead and Moonblast here and parting shot this thing. I'm probably faster. Yep, good game. Switching strikes, Moonblast, GG. Guzzlord carried that game. If I'm if I'm gonna be with you, Guzzlord carried that game. Nice. Okay. <laughs> I. I cannot lie, I was waiting for this matchup because a lot of Eternatus don't run Dragon Stab right now. So look at what they have for beating my Assault Vest Guzzlord. That isn't a counter. That isn't a counter. That isn't a counter. That isn't a counter. This is. That isn't. Once this thing goes down, and you know it's a water type, so you know it doesn't like Xerneas. This game is done. This game is just done. It is done, did Leon. Um, I don't like the Trick Room lead. Kind of really loving the Trick Room lead. I'll actually lead off Guzzlord. I'll lead off Guzzlord. I want to put a lot of pressure on them so I get free damage. Knocking off Black Sludge would also be pretty cool. So I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna scare them with Xerneas Guzzlord on lead. I think that Incineroar isn't that great here. Um, my Urshifu looks like it goes hard, and I think I want to go Amoongus. I think Amoongus could be good. Stack Attack is also really good because my Trick Room mode's better than his. We'll go Stack. All right, check this out. Check this out. They have to fake out the Incineroar. You know they have to fake out the Incineroar. Uh, I get more. I get, I get a more significant drop in damage if I knock off that Life Orb, so I'm willing to do that. And I'll protect. Or they have to fake out my Xerneas. Yeah, I get a significant drop in damage if I knock off that Life Orb there. That's good damage, too. That's real good damage. And I want to say that I should be able to call the... Um, I should be able to call the Sludge Bomb and go into my stack attack. So I'll just Snarl here and get in stack. Yep. They Snarl me. You think I care? You think I care? <laughs> you think I care? Dummy. Dummy. Uh, they should just Earth Power. Do I live that? Probably not. I'm going to my Urshifu now. And then I have Aqua Jet to scare the Landorus. So I'm going to go into Urshifu. Snarl again. That lives it. Parting shot, that's fine. I get a Snarl off. I'd love if I could break a Sash in the Aleki. I would love to break a Sash in the Aleki right now. And lower the damage output? Like, honestly, Sash on the Urshifu, I'll take that too. I'll take that damage too. Alright. Um, what I can do here is go into Xerneas. And it might be in range of an Aqua Jet. I think it should be. I really hope it is. Nice. Okay, getting rid of that's huge for the rest of the team. As they U-turn out. I think they just lost a lot of options versus us. If they get in their Urshifu Rapid Strike. Um, I think I just Moonblast it. I'm not going to set up. I think I just Moonblast. Because they have a hard time versus Stack Attack of Guzzlord. And unless they're Scarf, which they really shouldn't be, be able to do this. They are Scarf. Okay. Well, I might have lost my Xerneas. Dang it. Okay.
I might be able to do this. This is going to be a really hard thing to set up. How many people are running Scarf right now? Uh, 17%, so a little unlucky in the matchup. Yeah, I tank that. like to sack this thing. Ooh, okay, I'll take the high horsepower. Okay, and now I'm just gonna go for a, I'm actually gonna close combat this Incineroar because I'd like to get rid of it. And this thing's pretty sure it's Black Sludge. Ooh, nice little crit there. Our herb, okay, so it's offensive. And I think I might be able to take that Urshifu here. Not quite. Sludge Bomb, that's fine. I think I might have won. I may have won. I have to Snarl here for sure, and I have to Rock Slide as well. And it depends if they have Aqua Jet. Ah, they have Aqua Jet, and they crit me. That might have mattered. I don't know how much that would have done. Okay, yeah, good game. That's unfortunate. Uh, it's really interesting that they're running both Scarf and Aqua Jet, but I guess I can understand the I application. literally have nothing that beats Guzzlord. And I don't count Dialga, because Dialga straight up doesn't. Um, do this. They really don't like Xerneas, which is strange. you think they would prepare for that. And Urshfu's also looking pretty, pretty fly. Pretty fly. Let's do it. Yeah, um, I can completely prevent a Tailwind. It depends if they're carrying Quick Guard. I can't, obviously I can't predict that turn one. Maybe I do this. Maybe I just fake out the Lando. Yeah, okay. I'll take that. I should eat one hit from the Lando, so I'm willing to parting shot it. Is the U-turn? What am I gonna knock off, or what am I gonna parting shot? Whatever it is, it doesn't like it. I can guarantee you that. Okay, yeah, snarl time, snarl time. Do they have taunt? I kind of want to predict the taunt, but I also can't. Can't really afford it to protect the taunt. Protect Tailwind, maybe Will-O-Wisp. I think they would have taunt, but it's not worth predicting right now. No, they just have Flare Blitz. Okay. A nasty plot. Snarl. Awesome. Um, I can literally just snarl again. And protect. How much did my first snarl do? Maybe I just get rid of Town Flame. No, I just snarl and stay in. Yeah, they forfeit. Yeah, cool. That's strange. It's the bird from Pokemon Unite. That's a good way of looking at Town Flame. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this team hates Trick Room with a passion. So if I can get that off, that'd be really nice. I should be able to do it. I just do this. I'm still gonna bring the Xerneas. <laughs> you know I'm still bringing that Xerneas for the late game. Should close combat me here. And fake out. I get a spore on whatever comes in on this slot. Surging strikes, good call. Good call. Um, I can rage powder here 
and just go for a D-Gleam. I don't really see a point in setting up when I just get free damage on things. Or maybe I do set up. Honestly, like, what do they do? Unless they're, like, safety goggles. I sell steel. I don't care. I'm going to take a free KO. Gonna double moon blaster. Maybe I can just click dazzling gleam. I guess it depends. They might have wide guard in their Celestila. I could also spore the Celestila. Technically. I'd actually really love it if they could. Yeah, if you go into Zacian, that'd be great. Uh, might be able to live one hit. See if I can do this. I can spore you, that'd be awesome. Wide guard, nice. Okay. We take those. And now I can just Moonblast Rage Powder. I can get rid of their Restricted pretty early. Because this should be a two shot. Yep, clean two shot. Heavy Slam. This is kind of greedy, but I want to protect and spore the Celesteela now. Because I should outspeed the Zacian next turn, which allows me to go for another... Another um, Rage Powder. Or another Moonblast for free. Nice. Uh, Moonblast. I can go into my stack attack now. That sort of forces their... I, I mean, there's no reason to switch, is there? Maybe. I guess I can go into stack attack pretty early. Also, Grass Knot. I'd like to get the Celesteel in a 1v1. I'll do this. Because honestly, I'm just going to try to take as many KOs as I can before um before they KO me with their Celesteel, and then I might be able to win. Little Boom, Protect. Go back into Amoongus. Maybe not. Maybe I just take the Rillaboom. Ooh, okay. Nice, nice. I should lose my Xerneas here, so I kind of just want to Moonblast and Trick Room now. I could also technically Dazzling Gleam since they should never wide guard, knowing that I knowing that they can like KO me with this. I'm gonna Dazzling Gleam. I live that. Should lose my Xerneas. No, they stay asleep. Okay, that's fine. Start clicking Rock Slide. Get in my Amoongus again. Maybe call their friggin' move. Uh, go into the Amoongus. Keep that for later on. They should always like Aqua Jet that slot, right? They didn't. Ooh, okay. Might be in trouble. Surging Strikes. Don't live that. Uh, I think I'm fine. Because I always spore you. And you, I mean, I could also just do this. Yeah, that gets rid of you. Get the knockoff to remove your leftovers. Nice little crit there. He opts not to leech seed, which I think he really should have done. I can go for a spore here, and we just keep clicking knockoff till he loses. Because I think a knockoff plus a grass knot should do it. Since he has no lefties. All things considered, I definitely should have brought my incinerator to this game. It was really irresponsible not bringing incinerator to a matchup with three weaknesses to it. But I pulled it off, so I'll take it.
It's taking its time. Better turn on the timer. All right. Come on, man. I have a salmon with my name on it waiting for me for dinner. What do you guys think about the team so far? Just wondering, like, chat, do you guys like this team so far? I think the team's pretty all right. Obviously, it doesn't like Zacian that much, but we have options for beating it. Kind of prove that right there. Oh, I really wish this guy would just click his move. He, there's not much you can do. Like, your play is to double protect every time, and even then, I think I still win, you know? Come on, buddy. Click your move, please. <laughs> yeah, the people that leave but don't forfeit are like scum of the earth. Like, just lose, man. <laughs> Hey, thank you for the follow. Oh, Divine Kid, thank you. And we went off a timer. Oh no, he just ran out of time. Epic. Epic Grass Knot knockoff win. I mean, there's quite literally no way for him to live this, so we'll go ahead and just start the next game. Yo, why does this team just lose to Guzzlord? Why does it actually straight up lose to Guzzlord? Uh, let me lead off like this. Amoongus is obviously a must there, and thank you for the follow, you guys. Uh, we can break stack attack out of things there, and it's just better. I mean, they should fake out my Incineroar. We can try to go for the early Flare Blitz KO. I'm just going to Snarl and go for the early Flare Blitz KO. That's nice. Uh, I should be able to bring it a knockoff KO. Don't be knockoff for a little bit. You shouldn't stay in regardless. Yeah, the U-turn, that's fine. They have no idea how little this is doing. Nice little, nice little damage there. Uh, I always take this hit now. I'm actually specifically EV to do this sort of thing. Bits, thank you so much for the subscription. Yeah, I'm specifically EV to do this sort of thing right here. So I can Snarl and Spore. They go Reggie Likey. Don't agree with that at all. And they crit me. Luckily, I still live. I'm getting crit all over today, aren't I? I can go for regenerator stuff here. Uh, I'll go ahead and go for the knockoff KO. Plus one to be absolutely insane here. That should do it. It's going to be close. Nice. I get my first beast boost of the se <laughs> of the session. So that's awesome. Uh, they shouldn't go into Kyogre like ever. Hey, dang. We're getting, subs we're getting subscribers all over the place. Thank you for gifting the sub. All right, uh, I'm going to fake out Snarl. We go for that. Uh, like I said, we just hard wall Kyogre like forever. We're also Pasho Berry. I'm going to go back into Amoongus. I could go for the Aleki KO. Like I said, Guzzlord goes crazy in this matchup. And we already know they don't have Shedinja, but Shedinja, like this whole team gets disassembled. Go ahead and Water Spout, see if I care. Pathetic. Pathetic. Okay. And the rain's gone too, so like, what do you do? As I'm getting a phone call. Can't really answer that right now. Um, let me knock off again, because I think the Aleki comes back in, and I can go back into Incineroar. And with Pasho Berry, I should live this, like, every time. As a Ice Beam. Yeah, uh, let me go ahead and go for a knockoff on the Yogurt, because I think they have to go into Aleki here. And I'm actually going to Parting Shot. 
the Rillaboom. Or I can go for a KO on the Rillaboom. Yeah, I'm gonna get two KOs here. Eh, guess not, but still getting the KO on that. All right, awesome. Um, I think I end up winning if I KO this Rillaboom. But I could also probably KO this thing now with knockoff. I don't think they ever water spout. I think they might ice beam, so I'm gonna parting shot this Kyogre. It's kind of a hard read, but I'm gonna double the Kyogre here. Nice. Oh, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. That's literally all, that's all they needed to win. I mean, maybe I can still do this, but it's, dang it. All right, please thaw. Please thaw. With the U-turn KO. Dang it, dang it. Uh, I mean, there's still a chance, but it's not looking great. You're kidding me. Oh, I would have won right there. <sighs> okay. Maybe I can tank this hit now. Water Spout's still going to hurt real bad. Okay, I think I might win. Just don't crit me. Okay, this is getting pretty sussy. This is getting pretty sussy. I'm going to protect and spore here. Because they should double. Yep, Origin Pulse. I think I win. Yeah, that should be a win. Moonblast to KO the Rillaboom. I think that will always KO. Grass not the Kyogre. Yeah, okay, I won. That was really annoying, though. Uh, we could have had a, a clean, clean endgame with that. Not even an endgame, like a beginning, middle, and endgame with our with our Guzzlord. We could have a clean everything. So, um... I think I've learned my lesson. I'm going to always bring my Incineroar to this matchup. Always going to bring the Incineroar to this matchup. They should never lead off with Zacian, in my opinion. I'm going to go Incineroar Guzzlord. Xerneas. Stack attack is not. I can go Xerneas Amoongus. Oh, they did lead off Zacian. On the right side, I just go into Amoongus. Actually, I could actually make a pretty nice double here. Um, I can go into Xerneas on the fake out and go into Amoongus. It's going to be a really annoying double to make, don't get me wrong, but I think they fake out close combat in Cinema. Or at the very least, close combat the, the Guzzlord, right? Because they should fear the Guzzlord because it's strange and new. They always fear what they don't understand. What I tell you? They always fear what they don't understand. At this point, I can protect and go back into Incineroar. No U-turn? Okay. Not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. They should predict my fake out, so I think they... Yeah, they should predict the fake out here, so I'm just going to Moonblast fake out this thing. I'm not going to set up yet. Getting a KO this early would be really nice. Nice, they gave me the Urshifu. Is there any merit to running a weakness policy Xerneas? It would have more immediate threat than the Geomancy set. Technically, no. I don't believe there's any merit to that. Mainly because everything that that set does also gets done by Geomancy and even better. It doesn't require two Pokemon to set it up. You get plus two in special defense and speed, which is huge. And it's just, you know, you only have to click one button. I'm going to assume they predict me to protect here and maybe go for a... 
kind of want a parting shot. This is really scary. I'm going to do it. Hey, okay, I got it right. Going to the Amoongus. And I'm actually going to sleep the Celesteela. Because I think they go into Rillaboom for their Zacian. Oh, I just Behemoth Blade, that's fine. Epic sauce, epic sauce. Uh, let me go ahead and attempt to sleep on this thing. I could also just Flare Blitz, technically. Spore. Or I could make the easiest read of my life. Oh yeah, easiest read of my life. Now nah, I should take advantage of this. Uh, let me go ahead and knock off you. I'm willing to go for the Geomancy. I really don't lose much unless this thing wakes up. Oh yeah, we're gaming. We're gaming. Not that the knockoff does anything, but we're still gaming. We're still gaming. Profusely gaming. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Um. Ooh, how much does this do? High horse heart is 48. Y'all want to see a gamer play? You guys want to see a gamer play? You guys want to see a gamer play? Give me your Zacian and give me my beast boost. Bam, right there. Right there. <laughs> that's game. Straight up. That's just that's just game. I'd disconnect if I were him. I would disconnect. Give me your leftovers, dude. Give me, give me your leftovers. <laughs> Just knock it off. <laughs> okay, okay. Admittedly, that was a pretty good read. But you most certainly do not have... You most certainly do not have Protect on your Rillaboom. So I'm just going to Moonblast you. Yep. Goodbye. Awesome, they get a little defense boost, but I really don't care. Because I just do this. They've given me their leftovers. I spore you. I mean, there's a chance they win. It's going to be really annoying if they do, but... I think they'd have to double... They'd have to double Leech Seed the Guzzlord slot, which I don't think they do. Nice. Uh, and that should be within a couple of Flare Blitzes range. Snarl does more, I think. I think Snarl would do more than Grass Knot. But I could also just infinitely do this. I'll turn on the timer. Didn't this guy do this last time? Isn't this like the same guy? Oh, I really hope this isn't the same guy because that would annoy me. That would annoy me if this guy just does this consistently. I wish I had Palm Puff Amoongus. By the way, we just hit 40 subs. 
I appreciate you guys. Uh, that actually helps me out quite a bit because now I get paid every month by Twitch. If you don't know how it works, uh, Twitch pays you out like every hundred dollars and now I'm making about a hundred dollars a month. So that actually helps me out quite a bit because otherwise I'd have to like wait two months. So that helps me out with rent. That's, that's really good for rent. <laughs> I mean, we'll find out if it's the same person in the VOD. He's calking, guys. Trust me, he's calking. Okay, yeah, I should just win since he has no way of healing. Yeah, I just Flare Blitz Rage Powder every time. He has no heals um, since Leech Seed always goes into a Moongus. And I knocked off the leftovers, so I just Flare Blitz a couple of times, and then I win by clicking like knock off at low health. Wabbit season. I wonder how petty you have to be to go AFK every time you're about to lose. How much does Heavy Slam do to an Ensign? At half attack, not much. Yeah, he loses. You know what? You know, I'm willing to spend the extra time just to give this... A parting shot. I'm willing to spend the extra time just to give this win to my boy Guzzlord. I'm willing to do this, just, just so my boy Guzzlord gets a little W. This is worth it. This is for the Guzzlord. Just to remind him, by going AFK, he has consented to losing to Guzzlord. That's how it works. I don't make up the rules. That's just the rules. By going AFK, you have consented to giving your Celesteela to Guzzlord. He is hungry. Look how much the Leech Seed does. <laughs> Anyways. What are you gonna do? You're gonna slowly lose to Guzzlord. I actually really like this team. I find this team extremely fun to use. I find this team extremely fun to use. I think that when I build a team, I build it more for fun factor than I do for consistency which sounds a little odd for someone who plays competitively and i do have teams i build for consistency but when i build a team for this sort of video it's it's fun factor it's mostly the fun factor with a mixture of consistency because obviously this team looks pretty consistent on paper it's very standard but we've found a little niche for guzzlord on the comp which helps it out quite a bit and you're just one hit away one little knockoff away from losing to guzzlord uh, Rage Powder. Potential rental code? Yeah, I guess. I guess there's a potential for the rental code. Guys, in just 30 short seconds, Guzzlord's going to win. Isn't that exciting? Isn't that exciting for Guzzlord? It's a big day for him. It's a big day for him. Real happy for my son. Uh, after this game and then one more, we're going to switch over to Pokemon Unite, just so you know. In just 15 short seconds, Guzzlord is going to Everyone, everyone is quiet on the green. He lines up the shot. He goes for it. Ooh, Leech Seed misses. And knockoff, hole in one. Okay, cool. Little golf reference. I don't play golf, so that was probably very dumb. All right, cool. Good game to that guy. Thanks for going AFK twice in a row. One more battle, and then we're going to switch over to Unite for a little bit. That's an Aganadel. And I feel like the Aganadel would run dragon coverage. But beyond that, little Guzzy. Little Guzzy boy. Little Guzzy. Okay. Um I'll go Guz, Incin, Amoongus, Xerneas, because we know that works. 
Yeah, you can't get a hole in one on the green. Huh? I mean, you can if you're playing mini golf. That was a mini golf reference. <laughs> hole in one on the green, mini golf. Was the tornadus or nadus? Want to see a power play? Check this out. Amogus. He's gonna switch into Zarinus. but I'm not falling for that. So I'm just gonna parting, sh not parting shot, but I'm gonna switch out into Amogus. It's a little baby Eternatus. Oh, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? I ain't stupid. I ain't stupid. Give me that. Connect on both. Incredible. They thought I was stupid, but I was not. I was not stupid. They were stupid. Okay, check this out. Check this out. I can go for a Spore on that Kyogre. And I can technically go right back into this thing. I want to call a Protect plus uh, Triple Axle. They scald, that's fine. Thank you, Pasho Berry. Hey, we got the Triple Axle call. Nice little Assault Vest we got knocked off there. Uh, I'm willing to Snarl again. Actually, I'm going to go into Xerneas now. I kind of think I can set up. I kind of think I can just set up if I get this right. Oh, I can't set up. I love that. Little Guzzy. Little Guzzy. Get her nice little snarl off there. My, my little snarl. My little snarl. Uh, I can protect here. I could also just go for the KO, technically. I think D-Gleam plus knockoff might do it. I, this Zarina does not live a D-Gleam from this range, right? We can agree on that. I'm gonna knock off and D-Gleam. I might pick up two KOs if they switch out. Oh, they switched out. I'm gonna pick up two KOs. I'm gonna pick up two KOs. Give me that beast boost. Give me that beast boost. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy that worked. Okay. Yeah, they lose. There's the ogre. Ooh, wait, never mind. Never mind. This actually is not looking. Incredible. Uh, they could Ice Beam me. I can go into Incin now. I also can go to Amoongus. I'm going to go into Incin and Protect. Because I think they just Sludge Bomb for the KO. And Ice Beam. Alright, I live that. Ice Beam, please. They Scald. Okay, they double KO'd. Alright. Uh, luckily, I can go into Amoongus here and spore that Naganadel. Hopefully, it's not safety goggles. And I'm going to go into Guzzy. That's fine. Nice little spore. Uh, they should never KO me. I can Rage Powder Geomancy now. I should live the Ice Beam, and then I always prioritize a Moonblast into you. Does not even come close to KOing. So I Rage Powder, Moonblast into you, and that should be game as long as you don't get the Protect. Oh, crap. Okay. Hold on. I might be in trouble. I might have messed up here. Does he have Ice Beam? I don't think he has Ice He doesn't have Ice Beam. No, I just won. If I land like two of these, I win. I don't know why. I forgot to check how much I took from that. Okay, yeah. Scald doesn't KO me. Stay asleep, please. Stay asleep. They protect. Uh, that doesn't make sense. Live! Hey, good game. Well played. That was cool. That was cool tech in the Ganadel. I, uh, I got a little greedy there. I was scared that... I, I thought they would just straight up go for not Water Spout. But I was also scared that Naganada would be calc to actually live a Dazzling Gleam once. So, couldn't really risk it. Anyways, yeah, got a nice, uh, got a nice little bit of work done by the Guzzlord there. But yeah, that's really nice. Anyways. Technically, all hole-in-ones occur on the green, because that's where the hole is.